today we're going to be reviewing the cage for the EM1 Mark II by Small Rig. And I've had the pleasure of using this cage for the last few weeks. Um, Small Rig China has sent it over to me. One of the first samples they made and designed, they sent it over to me and I've been testing it. And to be honest, it's been amazing. I'll show you what you can do with a cage and how it can improve your shots. So we're gonna cover, you know, why I actually love using a cage and um, what a cage can really do for your camera. So let's get going. Yeah, this is the cage with a few accessories on it and I basically got a top handle and a side handle but I'm using the top handle on the side just to give me like this double grip. You would be surprised how much more stable you can get the camera when you have a little bit wider of a grip on it. So that's like one of the cases where the cage really comes in useful. And as you can see, the cage itself is really small, uh, but the accessories you can add to it is small rig has an, an infinite amount of possibilities. And I'm using NATO rails as well, so I can really quickly just loosen something. I can even take it off, as you can see here, or I can just slide it on and attach it just with one twist of a, of a screw, which is really cool. No tools required. I'll just take all the accessories off. That's like two screws at the moment. It comes off and then I just leave the cage on the camera permanently. It's so tight and it sits so tight on the camera and it's so small. It doesn't really get in the way at all, which is nice. I mean, you get a lot of cages that just make the camera turn it into a brick. But in this case, I like my camera being small. So when I'm shooting, I can keep it small. Further accessories I've also have is below the cage. I have a, a rod system, so I'll be attaching a follow focus for shooting later on if I'm shooting with manual lenses or manual focusing. Um, you can shoot, you can put a matter box on the front and really get, get fancy with filters and all that. And you can really turn this little camera into this full on cinema rig, which hopefully in the future I'll be using for, you know, future films, for more films, things like that. So yeah, that's it. Um, in general, there's not much I can say about the cage that I don't like. It's it's been really amazing and I really like this system. It's like Lego for grown-ups or Lego for filmmakers where you can just attach whatever you feel like, whatever you need for your project and, and it's super modulable. You can just take things off and put them back on and whatever. So yeah, pretty happy with it. So why do I think that a cage is such a good accessory to the EM1 Mark II? Well, you have this amazing stabilization with the 12 to 100 f4 IS and the sensor stabilization that talk together and create almost no need for a gimbal. The footage is so, so smooth that I barely used my gimbal anymore. So it's really amazing. Now adding a little bit of extra grip, a little wider grip on the sides really helps getting a little more stable footage. And it's, it's such a little accessory that's such a, so easy to remove and, and to configure the way you need it for whatever shot, top handle or double side handles uh, with an extra monitor to get more focus. And it doesn't get in the way, it actually helps me get my shot. So that's why I think this cage and that camera with that lens are the ultimate run and gun documentary filmmaker kit. Mm -hmm. 